Hello everyone. So on this uh, occasion, I will show you uh, an example how to uh, specialize your imagery with better stretching or you know, where you can see a much more difference uh, in the range of color. Oh, it's an example. Uh, you can see uh, this is the normal presentation, right? Uh, so in my script, I'm using uh, the imagery. I put the min max is 0 to 4000. And I just use the band uh, band near uh, short wavelength infrared, short wavelength infrared, and blue uh, of sentinel channel too. And this is the result, right? You measure yeah, square burn, right? So it's orange and green stuff. But when you use use this in like uh, QGIS or RGIS, you can see more color, right? I think the problem is that uh, in the software. Uh, for each minus uh, or max of each band, it's calculated automatically instead of you just describe what, what the min and max is. Ah, I'll show you the example of what happened if we use a custom uh, min max. See, you can see more color, right? You can see more a diverse landscape than the first one. See, uh, the urban build is, you know, really uh, bright yellow. You can see clearly, right? It's quite different from this, right? This is the normal one, and this is the stretching one, like uh, we use, usually use in NV, QGIS, RGIS, you know, other uh, amazing program on Windows or desktop, you know. This is different. Uh, this, that is actually what we want, right? So in this imagery, you can see clearly the, the urban, you can see the rice field uh, very clearly here, and you can see the forest here, much more, you know, detailed than before, right? In this one. See, just plan with this much higher contrast. So uh, what I did is that uh, I created a function, right? I created a function, special function, on which it's gonna need uh, some input, like image, the image and geometry, to calculate the mean max of each band. Then need the bands, of course, for visualization. I also need the scale for the calculation to work. A higher scale probably take more time to calculate, probably in order to anything. And the stretch, which is the, uh, the stretch of the minimum and maximum value by percent, you know, two percent and ninety-eight percent. So the minimum is two percent of each band, and at the at the second part, uh, ninety-eight is mean that it's only at ninety-eight maximum of the each band. So you can see the difference. For you. And the name, if you need the name and show, uh, you can show it or not. Uh, so I'm using the reducer, right? So at this region uh, for the selected band, I'm gonna calculate the percentile. At two percent and ninety eight percent, and then gonna create a new band on which it will return an image where uh, the the value of zero mean like the two percent of the band, and the value of max and the value of one is the eight percent of the band. Then I return back. Then I show the image using zero to one uh, value max and use the band, and it will show this. Great one. You can use this function as well. Uh, it's going to help you on interpretation, analysis, you know, much better uh, color distribution. And, I mean, it's better for your whole uh, facilitation. Actually, there's some other method than this, uh, but this is the method I created, you know, uh, with a more diverse landscape. See, it's much more cool different. Uh, the project is doing is in Jakarta City, you know, uh, Jakarta region. Yeah, see, very different. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very easy to me uh, when we are about to analyze and interpret land cover. So next time you're going to uh, stretch the value uh, of the image so you can see better. Uh, use my function. Great. See you. Bye.